to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another Grim Soul video and on this video I'm going to talk about the new Grim Soul update which is the version 2.2.0 and this update wasn't the update that everyone was accepting that the Harry Dungeon mode haven't got added and also the order buildings just the player stats have got added with uh, some other changes so I'm going to tell what are those changes and what have been added on this update so the first thing of course uh, the player stats have got added and they just show how much uh, times you've died how much zones you've farmed and how much uh, event you've done or how many dungeons and so on it doesn't show you how much hours you've uh, spent it on the game the second thing that have got added is the castle level 11 with uh, two new buffs and the first buff is the iron one which you uh, mount iron 30% more faster and the second one is for the die roll pen which you consume 33% less uh, food and water for your die rolls so this is a good buff uh, when you have a level 3 or level 4 die roll pen full of uh, die rolls so yeah the next thing is the new breeder to the merchant event which you can trade uh, or change your die wolf skill for coins and more rarer the die wolf is uh, more uh, coins you need to spend to change your uh, die wolf skill and this is actually a good uh, change or this uh, new breeder is good because if you have a, a unique wolf with a bad skill you can change uh, those skill. The next thing is the new poison item, which you can make it from the ultra mist table and to make it you need 20 uh, grave mushrooms and also the new item, which is the Isa tears and you can get uh, these from Isa from killing Isa and then after you make it you can use this as a throwable uh, potion which you can put it on your pocket and then throw it just like the grenades on all the like I've said on my sneak peek videos. The next thing is that they have uh, changed the texture of uh, level 1 floors and you can see here on the video the castle points of uh, armor stand have changed from 200 castle points to 300 which you can see also here. Now if you get lag on ultra or medium graphics or don't have that great device you can change your graphics to medium or ultra anymore which you can see here. Also now when witch uh, screams she stops for a while and she screams again and also I will suggest you now to lower your uh, sound of your phone. And also now they've changed the places of power. Now when you step on those uh, places of power, you'll choose to sit down and pray like I've said on my uh, sneak peek videos, which I said uh, you'll be able to sit down and pray and get a buff. I also said that you'll get a debuff, but you'll just uh, get good buffs, which I'm gonna show you right now. There are uh, seven buffs that you'll be able to get and the first buff is the movement uh, speed bonus. You'll be able to walk more faster. The second one is the uh, scares the Nyquest away. The third one is healing over time. The fourth one is ability to charge a uh, boost. And I guess that's for active skills. And the fifth one is the XP bonus. The sixth one is the armor bonus. And seventh one is the damage bonus. Which uh, the last ones are the best here, I guess. So, yeah, that's going to be all about this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And also, please don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe. So, yeah, goodbye and see you guys next time. Peace out.